Okay, I'm back in the continuing saga of our uh, disassembly here, and let's see how loose the um, stator is. This this top is got a paper top, and it's a wooden table, so we're just going to gently tap the um, assembly here on the uh, on the bench top. Let's see if there's any movement or not. And I think it did move, actually. Yep, so it's going to come out real super easy. Did you see that? So let me set this camera here a little bit. You can kind of see what's going to happen. And a uh, piece of PVC pipe here. And I'm going to hold it here like this and you can see the stator is coming out and at this point I can probably just go ahead and and pull it help guide the cord through there and it comes right out like that you can't do that with a GE fan with the pressed steel motor they they're almost impossible to get apart without using some pretty aggressive pressure and um, once again uh, not thinking ahead here you see all the varnish on that that's my v-blocks I made for when I'm re-varnishing and cleaning up the uh, Windings. So that's what I'll do there is these will get all cleaned up and uh, made pretty again. And I'm going to uh, go ahead and using the white paint pen mark this. This isn't going to get sandblasted or anything. What I'll do is I'll brush, dry brush as much of the dirt off as I can. Then using some compressed air and a brush, get as much off as I can. And then, the whole thing will get washed in mineral spirits with a brush. Don't dunk it. I'm going to write on this one here. This is the one with the aluminum blades. So I'm going to write A, L on it for aluminum. And uh, that will keep that from getting mixed up with the other one during this process here and uh, so that's the motor portion and now I can reach in and grab those uh, back shim washers okay put that in with the others so I have this string of videos here as documentation of what needs to go where and then I'll use a small punch to punch the little rivets out they're actually little twist screws without uh, called uh, drive screws I'll punch them out I'll take the handle off so that's that that's that now since this is going to be getting sandblasted, what I'll do also is I'll tape up, I'll wash all this off, wash all the grease and oil off, and this will get taped, and this will get taped. And then I'll put a little bit of tape on that too to keep stuff out of that, and that's just pressed in the oil fill tube, but I'll probably just tape it off also. I don't want that to get sandblasted. And um, that'll get sent to the sandblasting and powder coaters there to be redone. Move some things around and we'll start dissecting the base section of the fan. Okay. Set 
that back in the background there for now. And we'll talk more about that later. Let's get the rest of the fan torn apart. Okay, so there's the oscillator link. And there's a screw here. And this link is made out of bronze, and it probably won't get powder coated. I'll probably just um, paint it with appliance epoxy. This is another part that probably will uh, get painted with appliance epoxy. It can be sandblasted. Last fan I did, I sandblasted it, and it was fine. Screwdrivers fit real nice on these uh, slots. Okay. And I think that's a 5 sixteenths. It's not 3 eighths. I got one handy. Am I going to be using a universal? Get there, 5 sixteenths. Take this apart and clean it up real nice. This all comes apart. This, uh, the actual handle itself is 3 8 and it screws onto the barrel. And then you can take that apart and clean it up. And then, see, this is aluminum or pot metal. That's the only pot metal part in these fans. This will have to be something be done with it that'll need to get be sandblasted and repainted and then there's the ball joint okay we have the base Strip down almost. We gotta work on the insides now. And look at the shit that come out of there. Okay, will the will it come off or will the screws all have to be drilled out? That is the question. Also, I need another one of those V-blocks, don't I, to uh, hold the base steady. I don't think I grabbed both of them when I, when I did grab the one. So, be right back. Look at that pretty base. These blocks, the reason why I have two of them is these are actually made for clamping mainspring barrels in a vise when winding uh, phonograph mainsprings. The uh, Edison Triumph you've seen in my other videos when I've... Um, screws were both loose. Oh, this is lovely, isn't it? Look at that. Man, oh man. Shoosh. And see, originally these had, these are 832 screws, and they had square nuts there. And I like, I reused the old spaghetti tubing here, and I solder new wires onto the capacitor. Man. That is disgusting, isn't it? Okay, with the head wire cut off, we loosen the screws that holds the uh, um, 
speed controller in and it, this all just comes apart. Look at the bluing on that screw still, you see that? And that screw looks perfect. It's companion over here looks kind of dodgy. But that one still looks pretty nice. Let's see if it comes out easy. I have to hold this. Oh man. You see what's going on here? That uh giving just a little bit of a fight. There we go. Kind of hard to do this one handed. Okay. On the capacitor, there's two leads. One of these leads goes directly to the head wire, and the other one goes to. Um, Another another terminal point. I'll have to show you a wiring diagram so you can see. I see the way that this cord was installed. Someone instead of tying a knot, wrapped wrapped it in tape. Use a short screwdriver here to finish getting that off. a little longer than I thought it would be. Okay, I dropped it in there somewhere. on the old uh, head wire is that what's keeping us from pushing the uh, pulling the speed control out both the screws are out I'm gonna go ahead and clip these get them out of the way okay. I kind of know what's happening there and I hope that base is structurally sound enough enough meat there left to uh, sandblast and clean up holding this usually take these out okay why don't I investigate what's holding this uh, without a camera and we'll let this be a drop-off point go to the next segment.